Hi guys, gonna carry on with chapter two now. Um, yeah, let's get going with it. So, um, now. Now, how are things with you? Said the chief rabbit. Do tell me how I can help. Well, sir, said Hazel rather hesitantly. It's because of my brother, Fiverr here. He can often tell when things when anything bad is about to happen. I found him right and right again, and he knew the flood was coming last autumn, and sometimes he can tell where the wires have been set, and now he says he can sense a bad danger coming upon the warren. A bad danger? Yes, I see. How very upsetting, said the chief rabbit, looking anything but upset. Now, what sort of danger, I wonder? He looked at Fiverr. I don't know, said Fiverr, but, but it's bad. It's so bad that it's very, very bad, he concluded miserably. The Ferreira waited politely for a few moments, and he said, Well, now, what ought we do about it, I wonder? Go away, said Fiver instantly. Go away, all of us, now. Ferreira, sir, we must all go away. The Ferreira waited again. Then, in an extremely understanding voice, he said, Well, I never did. That's rather a tall order, isn't it? What do you think yourself? Well, sir, said Hazel, my brother doesn't really think about those feelings he gets. He just has their feelings, if you see what I mean. I'm sure that you're the right person to decide what we ought to do. Well, that's very nice of you to say that. I hope I am. But now, my dear fellows, let's just think about this for a moment, shall we? It's May, isn't it? Everyone's busy and most of the rabbits are enjoying themselves. No ear leave for miles, or so they tell me. No illness, good weather, and you want me to tell the, the warren that younger, younger, your brother here has got a hunch that we must all go trapezing across the country to good knows, goodness knows where and risk all the consequences, eh? What do you think they'll say? All delighted, eh? They'll take it from you, said Fiverr suddenly. That's very nice of you, said the fairer again. Well, perhaps they would. Perhaps they would. But I should have to consider it very carefully indeed. A most serious step, of course. And then, but there's no time, fairer, but blurted out Fiverr. I can feel the danger. It's like a wire round my neck. Like a wire. Hazel, help. He squealed and rolled over on the sand, kicking frantically, as the rabbit does in a snare. Hazel held him down with both forepaws, and he grew quieter. I'm awfully sorry, Chief Rabbit, said Hazel. He gets like this sometimes. He'll be all right in a minute. What a shame. What a shame. Poor fellow. Perhaps he ought to go home and rest. Yes, you better take him along now. Well, it's been extremely good of you to come and see me. Walnut, I appreciate it very much indeed, and I shall think over what you said most carefully, and you can be quite sure of that. Bigwig, just wait a moment, will you? As Hazel and Fiverr made their way dejectedly down the run outside the Ferreira's burrow, they could just hear from inside the chief's rabbit voice, assuming a rather sharper note, interspersed with an occasional yes, sir, no, sir. Bigwig, as he predicted, was getting his head bitten off.